Hello, how are you? My name is Gordon, the nurse philanthropist. Good morning. I just want us to have a brief discussion on travel nursing. So travel nursing is a type of nursing whereby nurses are contracted to work on a short-term contract in various health facilities. Most of the time, this employment is facilitated by travel nursing agencies. So the agency is actually the employer of the nurse. But the agency deployed this nurse to go and work at another facility. So the facility will be paying the agency and the agency will be paying the nurse. The most popular form of travel nursing is whereby someone travel far away from his or her, from his or her home address. So if you travel away from your home address, most of the time you will be entitled to stipend. Stipend is uh, the allowance the traveler is being given to cater for his or her housing and food. This amount of money is not taxed. So this amount of money you can only get it if uh, you are traveling away from home and you are also maintaining two houses like you're duplicating expenses that is when you are entitled to stipend but there's also another type of travel nursing whereby you only travel in your locality like myself now i'm a travel nurse but i've decided not to travel outside the state or i've decided not to travel more than 50 miles from my home address so my current traveling assignment facility is only 15 minutes away from where I'm staying so I'm still getting paid a significantly higher pay but what I'm not getting is the stipend now so travel nurses are usually being paid between three to five times the usual staff nurse pay but most of the time travel nurses do not have benefit for my case because i'm a traveler i'm paying for my own retirement and i'm paying for my own health insurance but if i were a travel if if i were staff nurse then the hospital would have helped me in paying for my my retirement and also paying for my health insurance now one thing that is also positive with travel nursing is that you can work alongside your schedule you can decide in a year you only work for eight months or nine months or you can decide in a year you only work for 11 months and uh, you take a, a one month off because when you work at the hospital the hospital gives you every paycheck a certain number of PTOs so when you want to go for holiday you can use those PTO to go to, to go to holidays for holidays but at the same time the if you apply for the PTOs it is subject to approval so you might apply for it but you end up not getting approval of the PTO but as a travel nurse you have all the freedom you just decide to work for nine months and uh, rest for two months or three months yeah then as I've said that travel nurses are paid uh, sometimes three times sometimes four times sometimes five times what the staff nurses get in addition to the stipend that is normally and taxed yeah so travel nursing is also the, the travel assignment is not exclusively for nurses we also have other health workers who are also travelers and uh, you will be surprised that even nursing assistant nurse aides are also traveling here in the u.s
we also have uh, we also have pharmacists who are travelers we also have medical doctors who are travelers have met even a neurosurgeon who is a traveler and most of the doctors who do organ procurement they also tend to be travelers emergency physician a good number of them are also travelers i've also met an anesthesiologist who is a medical doctor who is also a traveler so traveling assignment is not exclusive for nurses but the only thing is that if you pick a traveling assignment most of the time you'll be paid uh, three four times or five times greater than the regular staff nurse pay for instance when uh, the covid pandemic was still so high uh, travel nurses were getting paid as much as 150 dollars per hour I just want to say that travel nursing pays a lot but before you start traveling you are supposed to ensure that uh, you are very competent in your area of speciality and you also need to broaden your familiarity with the electronic medical records because we do have several electronic medical records we have Sena, we have Epix, we have Meditech and ETC because when you go to another place you may find that they are not using the kind of electronic medical system you're used to and you start struggling because they only give you as a travel nurse these people assume that you are an expert that you don't even need time for you to catch up they might give you like a two days uh, orientation and that is all because they know that they are paying you a lot of money so you're supposed to hustle around and uh, catch up as fast as possible and i remember when i started this journey i was very unlucky because when i came to the u.s the operating theater that i landed to we were majorly doing neuro and spine so we are doing those lumbar fusions we were doing craniotomy for resection of tumor craniotomy for, for subdural hematoma, spinal tumor resection, we were doing carotid and aterectomy. So those are the things I was used to. For almost two years, two months, I was only doing uh, cranies and uh, neurospine. But when I went for my travel assignment, these people did not take me to the area I was used to but they dumped me in the general surgery area so I had to start relearning afresh so now if you want to become a travel nurse especially for the operating room then you should never restrict yourself to one area of surgery try to move around like do orthopedic do neuro do spine do general uh, next time try to do pain medicine uh, the next day try to do urology the next day try to do OBGYN so that is when you become an all-round traveler but you if you are fixated to one particular surgery you might find it rough when you start traveling as an operating theater nurse and I want to say that there's a lot of temptation for people to start traveling even people who do not have experience especially the the, the, the American experience because travel nurses are being paid good money especially those who are traveling out of the state and most of the time you don't get paid much when you travel in state like currently I'm traveling in state and I want to say that I don't get paid much but during those days when I was traveling outside the state I was getting paid good money most of these uh, well established travel agency will only let you travel under their banner 
after accumulating at least two to three years nursing experience working in one specialty because remember in the US specialty is a very huge thing but as, as I've always said that specialty is not based on uh, academic career but specialty is based on the area you've worked longest and for you to be a specialist in that area you take an exam which is just like NCLEX so if you pass officially you can start calling yourself uh, uh, Brian critical care nurse and uh, the title is added to your badge it is added to your badge officially so that is how travel nursing works and uh, if you come here get your experience then if you don't have anything that is telling you to where you are staying or you don't have little kids then you can also start traveling and uh, make uh, good money so the only challenge of traveling is staying far away from your family staying far away from your little kids and also continuous orientation because if you become a chronic traveler every now and then you will be going to a different facility and uh, you have to get orientated in those facilities yeah there's a lot of misconception people usually think that if you say that uh, i'm at uh, you uh, that uh, you're a travel nurse some people will think that uh, you're transporting patient uh, on a medic helicopter or you're transporting patient the way the emergency medical technician normally do it but for this one travel means that you travel away from your home address to go and work in another facility so in brief that is uh, what is referred as travel nursing and if you include other health professional we may say travel health assignment because i've said that we also have physicians we have medical doctors pharmacist nursing assistant uh, monitor tech radiology technicians medical laboratory technologist who are also travelers so thank you so much for listening i'm still urging you to continue subscribing to this channel continue sharing our video and i'm hopeful that i will meet you in the next video thank you so much